Hi, my name is Ron French. I'm a occupational therapist and a certified hand therapist and uh, I own and operate the Shoulder and Hand Therapy Center in Paris, Tennessee. And today I want to talk to you about carpal tunnel syndrome. Uh, if you've been having these types of issues, uh, lots of times we go to the doc and he says, oh, you got carpal tunnel syndrome and you go home and you think about what should we do, but you really don't know what it is. So today I'm going to explain it to you. In your wrist right here, you have a, underneath your skin, you have this big ligament called the transverse carpal ligament that comes right across through here. And underneath there, you've got a nerve that runs to your thumb, these two fingers, and on a lot of people, the inside of the ring finger. And it's the median nerve. And so what happens is you get some irritation, some swelling in underneath that, that ligament, and we call that that area, the carpal tunnel, and the swelling then pushes on that nerve. That nerve then will cause that numbness or that pain up into your hand. Lots of times it'll cause a little pain running up in, into your arm. Um, so what causes this? Well, most people think it's caused from repetition, and that's true to an extent, but lots of other things can cause it. Uh, diabetes, thyroid conditions, uh, pregnancy, autoimmune problems like rheumatoid arthritis, uh, if you've ever broken your wrist or had a lot of trauma to it, that can also cause it. Because remember, it's just a swelling inside that carpal tunnel. And so you go to the doc and he diagnoses it. So what's your next step? Well, the doc, could, he, he could offer to give you a shot. Usually it's a cortisone shot or some kind of anti-inflammatory shot to try to get down the inflammation in the carpal tunnel. A lot of times those work, sometimes they don't. Another thing he might suggest is that you wear nighttime splints. When you split the wrist just right, it'll open that carpal tunnel as wide as you can open it. And of course, the wider open it is, the less pressure you're going to have in there. And that can help with some of the symptoms also. Uh, however, in the long run, you, you may end up having to have surgery. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next video is the surgery itself, what it is, what you can expect after the surgery, and what you'll need to do to recuperate yourself after the surgery. So thanks a lot. I'm Ron French, and we'll see you in the next video.